Um, yes, I'm Stefan Wolfert. I'm an actor, writer, and director and teaching artist. Um, I'm the um, creator of Decruit, a program using Shakespeare with veterans, as well as the director of veterans outreach for Bedlam in New York City. I completed the Shakespeare and Company Intensive in 2013. To have a month where I can just focus on me, that alone is a fantastic experience. Do you know what I mean? It, it's so many of us are so busy and just, and, and whether narcissistic or not, I just mean to, but I meant self care, which is something that I'm not, wasn't really grand at. Um, self deprecation, self destruction, maybe, I'm, I'm skilled at those, but self care to just, which is why I love acting, because when I'm in a show, I, my job is to take care of myself so I'm ready for the show. But this was 14-hour days, six days a week, and it was demanding. And it was, it was just all I had to do was what was next. And because they don't post the schedule, which I love, all I had to worry about was the here and now. And it, and it, it, um, it re-inspired me, because the work that I'd been doing with veterans um, was Shakespeare and veterans. And to come up here and just focus on me and get just be a student, not be in charge of anything, not have to teach anything, just just attend. That alone is amazing. And then the self-care is amazing. And then to get the work that we get, Dennis's sonnet courses. I, mean, you know, I I've never been turned on to the sonnets before Dennis. And I've been doing this for over nearly for 20 years, 20 plus years. And the sonnets to me were always, always this other thing, but he unleashed that. The, to go back to the text work and, and, and to just um, to empty my teacup, right, as we talk, talk about in martial arts, to go, okay, I, I know nothing, and approach the text. And to hear it again, I just re, it reignited. I learned new stuff. I heard stuff that I thought I was doing but really wasn't, do you know what I mean? It was, it was so much. Um, um, but it gave me the courage to practice what I'm preaching, myself to own it, and just that phrase to stand, stand and be bold enough to take up time and space. So the intensive, that's what we do, that's why taking care of myself the whole time for a month long did that. Not only did I get in shape, quite literally the conditioning and wiring to be able to do, sustain that for a whole day, but then I wanted to carry it forward. So when I left, I didn't want to go right back into the way I normally was. I wanted to be this new me, and, and it did. That gave me a month to do that so that as I went back, at the age of 49, I'm not afraid to wear leg warmers, which I've always, I love leg warmers. Not much as like, because of the feel, but I mean, um, because of my knees and everything in my ankles. <laughs> Um, when I do my work, uh, my hips and my knees are always cold. So we'll be in cold theaters, not today, but, um, but, <laughs> so, but um, so I wear leg warmers. It took me to 49 to have the courage to do that. Uh, but those kinds of things, I know it sounds small and perhaps silly, but to me, those are monumental. Growing up in the hy hyper-masculine world that I did, that's massive um, to, to be able to take up the time and space. and I. And I always, I almost always did this. I was, my voice, you know, from the Midwest, the apology voice, almost always. Even when I was teaching, I didn't want people to think that I, you know, that I, I know things or, I, I don't know how to explain it, but then, I mean, here it's just, no, this is the way I sound. And this is the way I breathe. And this is what it's like for me to stop and take in a breath. And you'll wait because you've asked me a question. And if you don't, then, it doesn't matter because I needed the breath. It, do you know what I mean? To have that, that, that courage, I would say, and discipline both together. So.